Okay, we're uh, we are we are alive, right? I think so. Oh, let me have a quick look. Yep, it, you you're live. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> God, I need water. Right. So, welcome to the live stream. We are the LOL gang or LOL gang. I don't know how we pronounce ourselves these days. LOL gang from Persona Five. Yeah, we're the LOL gang. Anyways. Anyways, I am your host, uh, Man of Vita. You may also call me Mo for short, or Vita for what we've discussed for some reason. I don't know. I am your... I am the host. Easy, you know. I draw... I draw things by daytime. I... Uh, well, on the side, I also have a voice range talent. Bracket self-proclaimed. I'm joined by hey. my fellow friends and hosts, uh, co-hosts, um, the man who keeps up the laughters while wrecking LPs, and it makes every character sounds like an Aussie heap. Hey. Um, well, save people by day, kill people by night. And... Not, not legitimately kill people, just online, you know, slaying monsters and whatnot. Alright, and I'm also joined by... And we also have the girl who has the softest voice out of our group, but will also play mobile games on the off-camera side. Sneaky. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> oh, I know. I know how you. I know how you play these games. Figuratively and literally. Quartz don't farm themselves. Actually, I don't even know what you play at the moment, so you know. But yes. Hi. Yeah, Rackley. Rackley does. Yeah. Right. I can only do kids' voices, by the way. So we are, yeah. What do you need? Yeah, I wanted to do this live stream. Uh, we did, we did like a Persona 5 uh, Let's Play recording a long time ago. Uh, but I think we, yeah, I think it was a lot of work for us to do that too. Well, mainly for me, since I did all the recording. Good times. <laughs> Screen grinding. Yeah, but uh, decided, yeah, which it was still decided it was like, since it's like a bit of a heavy uh, task work, I'd rather we do a live stream because it, A, it would save me, it saved me from going through the trouble of doing, doing the effort of video editing since I hate to do that kind of stuff. And B, you can't sense a heap. <laughs> I get sense on myself. You may have to excuse uh, the mics, the mics on the these two because they're apparently their mics aren't working as great as they should be on Discord. They can't be bothered playing. Mine might be because of age, and uh, <laughs> yeah, the stores don't open for me to buy in person because of the C word. Uh, yeah, I had to come, I had to go out and buy in person on my off shifts. Well, I hope the I hope the audio is actually working fine. So like, I mean the game audio mixing with our audio. But uh, I tried my best. We did. I uh, this is on the. I'm then recording through the Mac and the game, game capture. So we just had to. It's a lot of. It's a lot of settings. But the only thing I can do is capture desktop audio, and see. Try to adjust any applications that has sounds. But anyway, we are gonna play the Great Ace Attorney. I'm really excited to play this game because. So how much how, ma much how much do you know about the Ace Attorney games? Um, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I've played like the first one or two. I don't like know. In uni, I remember you. I remember Rackley. You said you said that you only played like up to like case five of the first game, but you didn't I really did, finish that but case it. five. I can't remember, but I know I ended up like playing it, and I was like, <laughs> I can't remember anything. Yeah, as you can hear, yeah, her, her, her voice exploded. Her voice exploded. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just like that. Um, as you can see, right. yeah. I'm she went up ten, 10 ages, and then she's going back to little girl mode. Well, it's, str it's strange. My mic is... <laughs> my, my mic, being the Blue Yeti mic, is, hasn't been used that much, and it's still in perfect condition. Well, oh, well, you guys, well, you guys the... are needing new mics. Well, to be honest, I'm, it's I'm your mic... Today. Your mic is kind of a stand -low. My Plus, it's the Blue Yeti. That thing is like, you know, top of the I'm range in my Yeti. eyes. I just can't be bothered plugging it in right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, so it's like, yeah. This is a this is a game written by Shu Takami, who created the first three Ace Attorney games. 
So his story should be really excellent. Now, the reason why this game... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna tell you before we start. Um, so this game was on the 3DS, but it has not come out... It has not come out of, to the West ever since it was first released in Japan in 2014 on the 3DS. Oh, that's interesting. I thought the Phoenix Wright series sold well enough for it to warrant a translation. Oh no, this is a this is because this is a this came out as an issue, a different issue altogether, a legal issue, and it's regarding the Sherlock Holmes stories. So yeah, you know how Conan Doyle estate loves to like sue a lot of people who are using their Sherlock Holmes uh, materials, even the oh. last ten stories that are still copyrighted. Oh wow, did not know that. Oh, no, I'm not the one that's got to about copyright issues. Your mic. <laughs> anyways, um... Anyways, since, uh, since that, like, since it was a legal issue in itself, uh, the game hasn't been released at all for the past, what, 60... Is it, uh, it's exactly, maybe, seven? Ne yeah, nearly seven years, I guess. Almost seven years. Yes, seven, seven years, yes. Yeah, because this was 2014, so both... Both of these games. As you can oh wait, two games? Yeah, there's two games. Oh, we got two oh. games. This one's part. Let's say also this one's heard. part one of the whole adventure, and this is part two. Ah. Uh, hey, this is weird. Normally they sell both games separately to make more money, but you know what? I love you, Capcom. I'm okay with this. Who in one? Why not both? Yeah. Okay, no locked off. It's a long, it's a long history with this. I think it's a long history with this game. Uh, we even got like people online, the Scarlet Study, that made the, made the fan translation of this game for the emulators. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And I played the, yeah. <laughs> I did play the first game on an emulator, but the emulator on the Mac was very, very shit. So I can't, so frame rate lag and everything. It took oh, me like yeah, more hours than necessary to beat it. Don't worry. The the DS email isn't perfect. It just works. If that's the right way of putting it, it just works. You try to tweak it too far, things start falling apart, things magically disappear on your screen. Yeah. So, uh, but the reason now, okay, the reason why we are able to get this game in the West, both of these games, is because uh, Capcom USA found a found a good loophole. And that is to borrow uh, the name of Herlock Sholmes, which was which was a retcon name by uh, Maurice LeBlanc in an effort to the the author of the Lupin uh, novels. You know the the old ones, uh, because back then Maurice Maurice LeBlanc Maurice LeBlanc tried to use Sherlock Holmes ver in the character for his Lupin stories. But, Doyle, but Conan Doyle was like, you can't do that. And he was uh, he was in uproar about it and wanting royalties. So Maurice LeBlanc had to change the name to Herlock Sholmes to, so that he wouldn't have to pay for the royalties. Yeah, that's pretty smart. And now that Herlock Sholmes name has been put into public domain and has been carried over by Capcom USA to use for this game. So basically, it is Maurice LeBlanc's uh, F you to Conan Doyle. It's just like the big jack. You know, take that, uh, Maccas. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, my Mac, it was good. My Mac is like, spinning fan is, is going up. I'm oh, doing... it's good. In, in winter, you want that. It warms up your room. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, fudge it. Fudge it. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, this is set in 19th century. Uh, this is way before the main series happened, but, yo. Yeah. For a long time, I thought it was the main <laughs> series. Well, the main right, series happened, like, I don't know, somewhere around 2016 or 2018? Uh, I, I don't know, that. it was weird. It was weird. It, but it's it's all in Japan. But this is the original location. It has nothing to do with Japan or Fornia or anything. At least, not as far as I... <laughs> See when I played it on the Switch a bit. They didn't. They. They. I think they kept it as much uh, close to what the fan translation was as possible, but they made some minor changes along the way as what well, too, including, oh, including Sherlock Holmes stuff. It just sounds weird that you make a translation off a fan translation. You know. Now the fans. You think you... No, it's like the fan translation was 
almost close. Was about no the fans like no I mean the fans translation was a bit was uh done as close to the original game, and the Capcom USA they did it they did it as well but they also made some changes as well I think regarding her yeah regarding Sherlock Holmes as well mostly but let's start this game. Uh huh. Yay! I'm gonna figure oh. out to I talk too much. That's okay. I I I'm here to ruin it. I will listen. Ooh, there's an animation. The Empire of Japan. Oh, After no, opening English. its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far Western island nation. <laughs> the revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. That's restaurants here in Australia right now. Oh no! Whoa, that's a big head. That's a long, that's a very long head, longer than mine. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. I'm the killer. Nico Bellic, you shot him. <laughs> Like, what? The, the great, <laughs> the Grand Theft Auto the 4? I actually forgot how he sounds, like all these um, side characters, so I apologize for that. Shit. Yeah, this is Meiji era. I wouldn't know. I'm terrible with history and my eras history. and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, no, so the reason why I failed. I found my history in from FGO. <laughs> No, honest, honestly, I, uh, yeah, honestly, I, it's secretly in my bucket list, I wanted to play a Meiji Errors game. Oh, it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Now the world knows. R oh, yes. This is that oh, text scrolling noise. Uh, I still can't believe it. Still can't believe this is happening. I am put, like, yeesh, my phone. Hey, 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 it's okay. You can farm quartz too, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how can oh, how can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan, waiting to decide my fate? Grand order. <laughs> what? what? Nani? <laughs> uh, I think you. Well, I could do. Well, I'll do this baby I'm voice. Sorry. <laughs> what? What? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Well, save your glares, murderer! S sorry. Well, my name is Ryonosuke Narahoto. I'm a second year student at Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now here I am, awaiting my trial. Uh, that would be you, Heap. Oh. I don't know if anyone can hear that, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Half of it. <laughs> Did I go through? I don't That's enough. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. Oh, look at that. Slowing. And who are you? Hmm. I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. And someone please turn off the fan in the room. <laughs> oh, my my headband is flying too gracefully. <laughs> you can't stop the headband from flying. It's it defies gravity from the twenty first century. <laughs> no, it's the nineteenth century. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying it's from the future. All right, lawyer. Yes. And until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. Oh, no can get So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. I didn't do it. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. 
No respect. Uh, Did I come through? Yeah, that come through. Right. You know what? I'm gonna butcher this. I'm so sorry for, for everyone out there. Right. Ryunosuke? Ryunosuke? Ryunosuke. That's correct. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I believe I watched... There was another stream someone has mentioned yeah. that uh, reviewers called him Ryan Nosuke on oh, IGN. Ryu. I don't know. Ryu. Nosuke. Ryu. Ryu. Oh, Ryu. shit. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Sh my... Oh, oh no. technical difficulties. <laughs> no, my controller. Ah, it's dead. Oh, don't worry, I have a second <laughs> controller on standby. He had a, he had a backup plan. Oh, but All he's right. back on being burned. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, of course. Sorry. Oh, yes, of course. No, that's me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, 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 yeah, yes, of course. Sorry. Hmm. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> what are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. Sorry. There you go again, apologizing. Oh, did that not come through? <laughs> did not hear that. Oh. oh. <laughs> there you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Yeah, Alright. Did, did that part not come through just like always? I yeah, that. yeah, yeah oh, okay. I, I heard that. I heard that. Okay. Too. Did you control it? Because sometimes, no, because sometimes I can see the, the green light appear, but sometimes it's like just background noise that like goes through and nothing else comes through. Really? Anyway. Alright. Well. Ah. Uh, wait. Hang on. I'm just gonna check something. Uh. Yeah, alright. Attention, duelist! My ah. man, it's the grind gravity! Uh, though I must say, you've been all over the newspaper these fa past few days. Oh, wait, no, that's you! <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> uh, I'm putting that guy's picture there. Oh my gosh. No. We are not no. off to a great start in our collab live stream. <laughs> I, I, I like this. Total chaos. Anyway. So, I must say, you've been all over the newspaper these past few days. New May University professor murdered in cold blood by student. But, obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Well, I'm not, of course not. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I... I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing for you to worry about. Straighten yourself up. And hold your head high. Get that chin up. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rinosuke. Who believes in you? Kazuma Soji. I think it's Sogi. Is it Asagi or Soji? Asagi. <laughs> if it's Japanese. Asagi. G-I is pronounced G. Asogi? Yeah. Alright, that sounds right. Kazuma Asogi. Uh, my best friend, also in his second year at Yumei University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even he's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's- what? <laughs> Shit, I didn't even finish that! <laughs> considering what? What are we considering? <laughs> considering he's still an undergraduate? <laughs> power- power- the power of square button history! It's not that impressive. Well, the history part is. The very concept of law is not is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. You know, the Guay Law influences. <laughs> Our qualification, qualifications don't mean much. Yet. Uh, you said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Uh, three days ago. Yes. That's when all this started. You oh. became a Persona user. <laughs> Congratulations, Kazuma! Looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I, 
No, I've been forever dreaming of this day. I get to go to visit the land of freedom. <laughs> you mean Britain? <laughs> that was America. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally, the government elites have acknowledged my academic achievement and successes in court. Were you actually laughing in the background? Yes. <laughs> Why did that not go through? <laughs> Probably not. No, I heard like I heard like muffles. Oh, well. Jeez. Look, it's okay. It might be a good thing that my last don't go through. Oh so well. we don't have to break out ears. Cause that's my job when I scream. All right. So you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated uh, legal system in the world. Well, I'm really happy for you. And proud as your friend. Well, there's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. Yeah, like he's an airbender. Making the sash flutter. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, in our own legal system. Oh, that got off. Well... Oh, I want to bring about change in our legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. Uh, the heart of the British Empire. That's my oh, line. Oh shit, that's your line. <laughs> that's <Shit>. my line. <laughs> I'm Kazuma. <laughs> we are all Kazumas. Uh, <laughs> Alright. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me. Can't we... <laughs> We have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. Yeah, everything could go wrong it's with Heap. So romantic. I know. <laughs> I, you, I will spread my arms open at the bow of the ship. Is that the front of the ship? <laughs> and you shall hold me by the waist. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Titanic theme song. What's the tit what was the Titanic theme song? <laughs> Oh, whatever, the Celine Dion one. Oh. Oh, right. If only it were that simple. Look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll enjoy this uh, this place a little while longer. Oh, being here in love. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high class Western restaurant like this. See you in Guaylo class tomorrow then, <laughs> partner. <laughs> yeah, that's a very percentile for thing of you to say, Kazuma. Yeah, it was very straight after that. That's when it happened. Persona. Oh. Oh, that, I guess I would do this. Uh, wait. Soji, uh, may I have a word? Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Hmm. Well, uh, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now, Sogi. You should go immediately to the judge's chamber. Why? Well, uh, don't worry. Kind of. Kind of. Uh, well, he was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as well. As a result. Uh, who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at the university before. He looks like the guy from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Bugle guy! <laughs> I forgot his name! Oh, J. Jonah Jameson! <laughs> yes, that's it! Yes! I... That's the knees! <laughs> Alright! I'll go at once then! Yes, yes! And hey, please, get me pictures of Phoenix Wright! <laughs> Alright! That be you, Rakui! I shall accompany you! I can't do it, that's just not a kid! Well, she's not a kid, but you have, but she's kind of like the, I don't know, the, the typical Japanese maiden? I don't know. Are you my spirit maiden? Are you going to call upon the maiden. spirits for me? <laughs> Alright, Runosuke, I'll see you in the courtroom. 
Yes, uh, thanks, Kazuma. And please, turn off the fan. Now. <laughs> Can you actually hear that? What? Oh no, every time you say the... <laughs> He's not referring to that. He's not referring to that. <laughs> or he could be really sucky. It could mean both. I don't know. Ugh, oh, this is awkward. Well, if I may... Yes, uh, sorry? And? You must be the defendant, Ryunosuke Naruhodo, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right! My name is Yujin Mikotaba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yumei University. Uh, Professor Mikotaba? I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Asogi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand? Oh. That song. My heart will go on. <laughs> oh! My heart <laughs> will go on. Alright. 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 Oh, As such, I will. I feel you should know. Know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asogi has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial... Indeed. I'm afraid that permission will be revoked. And never granted again. What?! <sighs> ah, as I, as I suspected. You were never aware- you were unaware of this. Sorry, I can't hear what you just said. My actions have consequences? <sighs> well, I have a feeling Asogi may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me, knowing that if he fails, his dream will be shattered? But I don't understand! Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas studies. It's a very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it! I swear it! I'm not a murderer! Well, I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry, what do you- Sorry? What do you mean? Oh, you soon understand, once proceedings get underway. But then, what should I do? Well... Naturally, you should bring up Spider-Man! Bring up pictures of Spider-Man, please! Oh shit. Ugh, uh, naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Alright, so... Well, as soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens... Guys, you got quiet. I'm watching, but I'm a bit laggy here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're listening. <laughs> Wait, uh... It's, it's, listen to music, man. It's building up. It's oh, like... Well. Tense moment. <laughs> yes, See, I can hear that. I, I told you you need to go elope. Look. <laughs> well, uh, as when that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. <laughs> yes. I do. What, well, like? Otherwise, the marriage can't take place. Exactly. Wait, but marriage doesn't happen. Gay marriage doesn't happen in 19th century. But what would the question be? Surely not. <laughs> Not the 21st century yet. Do you, do you accept the accusations brought before you? Well, of course not. Uh, heap. Oh wait, I thought you were the bailiff. Well, but I could. We could try. I, I mean, take we, over. Yeah, you can take over. There's more than one bailiff. Yeah, there is. Defendant. Yeah, Court okay. is about to begin. Oh. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Is it, is it trial right now? 
definitely have time to prepare something, but you... Ah, it would seem our surreptitious uh, discussion ought to be cut short. Uh, well, so allow me to summarize. Kasuma Soji must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Well, of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! There's no point in, a, in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway. <laughs> so rude. Rip. Uh, this is it. If this trial goes badly, Kazuma's dream of studying abroad are over, and what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. You must believe. And so, with absolute, no with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unfor unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence, the trial that would decide my destiny. Board. Not any a.m. in the morning. So early. Early, man. Sorry, I'm All just right. pouring some water for myself. Oh, we've got oh them eyes. <laughs> so this is a courtroom. 3D models. It's all 3D here. Yeah, wow, there's a gentle crazy. breeze through the window right now. The Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has more power. Wow, it's like well, full 3D now. I don't much like the new look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Yeah, they all look the same. And lots of military and other uniforms in here. The powers that be... Ooh, the powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. Uh, a secret trial? A trial that's close to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? Um, but why? It'll become clear in time. But for now. You need to concentrate, Yurinosuke. It's about to begin. Yeah! Oh, I was oh. hoping it would be the oh, same dude. Oh no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> He's a staple character. He's a staple design. And he... I think I did give you the role of the judge. Uh, the court will now hear the trial of Rinosuke Naruhodo. Naruhodo. Excuse me. The prosecution is ready, your excellency. As is the defense. Hmm. Before we begin, there is one point of order I'd like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last-minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? Uh, this is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? <laughs> you must seal your That's the question <laughs> the professor meant. <laughs> but then, if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? <laughs> answer I do. What shall you do? Yes, your love is sealed. Now you no confirmation is needed. <laughs> oh. As I'm standing here beside my love, yes. I hope it's clear who will advocate for his. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, the ring's on the wrong finger! <laughs> What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? Uh, I would like to inform the court that... that I, Ryunosuke Naruhodo, will be defending myself! You'll be... What? <laughs> NANI?! What are you playing, Ryunosuke? 
Professor Mikotaba told me everything just now, before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dash if you were to lose. You didn't believe in your husband. Would you? How sad. See, now he's sad. It means you don't have faith See? in me. I, 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 I thought our vows went, meant more than this. <laughs> you think I won't be able to get... <laughs> you think I won't be able to get you off? Jesus Christ, Seep. <laughs> Your, your Honor, may, may I request five minutes um, break in the restroom? <laughs> I was, I was in the, I was in the lobby the whole time. Oh five god! Minutes. No, it's not that really. It's just that. Well, on the off chance that things uh, don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you. I knew that's how you'd feel, which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. It was a white lie. Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Was it Mikotoba or Mikotoba? Mikotoba? I well, I don't know. I pronounce it like Mikotoba. I, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renounce his counsel? Really? Objection! Oh, objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent he's confident he can speak for himself. He even has the voice of Phoenix Wright coming through the back of his head. Isn't that so, Naruhodo san? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. Uh, I was. I'm not confident at all. In fact, <laughs> oh my, my mind's a complete. My mind's going blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still. Try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> Hmm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court, you must have perpetrated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature of Japan. That's a pretty long name. According to the high, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Even myself. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhodo? Uh, yes. Yes, Your Excellency. Straighten that back, boy. It is, it is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with the very simplest of questions. What is your name? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... Oh, what? Was that really what it was in the in the first game? I, I don't know. I was running with Pokemon. <laughs> um, yes. Currently state before the court the name of the victim in this case. <laughs> Are you the victim? <laughs> oh, well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But wait. You're the victim. You're being <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. I can't even remember that. What was it again? Rinosuke. There's a bucket underneath you. Use that for your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. I'll just grab that bucket over there. <laughs> All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But, but I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with a press <laughs> of this R1 button. That's what my journal says. Oh, well. 
in the 19th yeah, century. Yeah. In the 19th yeah. century, I instructed on technology. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. That magical, like, thing you hold in your hand. Oh, well, I just have to press R1 for the court record. Well, there's no time like the present. If, oh. you, ever need, oh, if you ever need a break, press the PS button. <laughs> <laughs> this is the list. Oh, that'd be you. That'd be oh, you. This is, the, oh, this is the list of evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead with R1. You'll find details about the victim here. And me! Look at my beautiful self. When you're done, just press <laughs> the, the round red button to go back. Alright, so we're gonna look at this guy's profile. John H. Wilson, the victim of this case. He was a visiting professor of medicine at Yume University from British Empire. So... Did you say Watson? Yes! You got you <laughs> got it. You just got it on... You just got it right, Requi. that beard and mustache. Yeah! I was about to say, uh, this, yeah, this is the, this is how, this is the change, of, this is the change in the name for John, John Watson. So yeah, basically, yeah, basically we now address Watson as Wilson and John Watson is dead now. We didn't make it. Wait, what, Robert Downey Jr. lived then, right? <laughs> Robert Downey and Jr. Is that Jackie Chan Adventures? Is that the uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures then? Uh, that'd be the pain. <laughs> okay, we've got, um, the head of the Daily Bugle, and I seem to be an OC. You seem to be an airbender. I am the... <laughs> Unfortunately, I've not watched that, so I, I, I am a disgrace. Hey. So remember, everything to do with the current case will be found in the court record. Remember, R1, buddy. And if, and R1 for everything. A, if you get a button, uh, the pink square. Now, you better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on, press that button. Alright. Find the victim in the people section of the court record, then press triangle to present. Try it now. Alright, well, I'm um, here we go. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, Falcon Punch! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> Well, at least you can remember the Falcon Punch and the name of the esteemed member of your own university. What the visiting professor from England invited to Yume University three years ago. I see. Indeed. Which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. Yeah, they got Sabre. <laughs> and as most of you will be aware, they have Sabre. And we have just signed a new <laughs> treaty together. After lengthy negotiations, we'll be getting her summer uniform this month. <laughs> I think we already have it. <laughs> no, we're getting her... Oh, no, wait. Her, um... I, don't, I don't play the game for good reasons. <laughs> Too many move on. Anyway, <laughs> there can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the... Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. <laughs> Actually, in the original, when Shiro gets Saber. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's good. I don't know what was the decision with Capcom USA, but it's actually called the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Commerce and Navigation. Friendship is magic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta draw the triangles on your hand and line them up. <laughs> well, and yes. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil! You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Yume University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education! Have you no honor? Uh, but I didn't do it! Analyze on the other side of the world. But we missed half of that, but alright. <laughs> oh, yeah. At the end of it. <laughs> the court therefore wishes. Oh. I don't know. Do you want me to like go back or we continue on? Nah, it's okay. This court is taken long enough to proceed as it is. The court <laughs> wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. <laughs> Even this guy thinks so. 
Hmm. The fan is getting stronger. In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting English land. England? English land. England policy makers. English land. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's how we call it in England. Asian land. And you're a convenient, expendable escaper to blame for this crime. So that's why these trials have uh, these unusual, unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman, a gaijin. <sighs> yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. The nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. <laughs> the flashbacks are really coming at the most inappropriate time, so I better be going. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll enjoy this flashback a little longer. Good idea. <laughs> After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class Western restaurant like this in a high-class dream. See you in English class tomorrow then, oh, partner. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> uh, the British Empire. Oh, wow, it's incredible to think. Wait. I've seen that man at the university. Sure, he's a pro visiting professor from Great Britain. Uh, I don't know his name, but I should go and say hello. So I went over to the, the professor's table. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Always my next question to you, Defendant Naruhodo. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Watson, lose his life? <laughs> State before the court the cause of death. Uh, the cause of death? Well, obviously that was, um, Rinosuke. Remember that in court, every assertion must be backed by evidence, or backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death, and select present on your controller. <laughs> Do it! Do it now! Yes! <laughs> yes! Um, yes sir! Well... Yes sir! Like, okay, according to this document, the victim suffered a... Hemorrhagic death to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile! That's the post-mortem report, I take it. <laughs> Sorry, yes. That's right, uh, the, um... Post-mortem... The post-mortem report. In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in a autopsy. Here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. We don't like to defile the dead. Oh, I see. Well, as long as I'm not... As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. He likes to add more words to make himself smart, doesn't he? I am smart. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. I'm gonna say that. If he's got some decent um package there. Thanks guys for um, thanks guys for making a joke of Kazuya. Hey, it's okay. Kazuya, it's okay. Kazuya, Kazuya okay. Uh, art, okay. art drawings. If a girl brings it up, it's okay. I can't. <laughs> Well, in other words, we should assume that the victim was clo was shot at close range. Thank you, counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. <coughs> Photographic print, and then it's like photograph of victim victims. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. Yes, it's a photo, buddy. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. I really like that. But you're stalling. Very well, I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. What? We haven't started yet? <laughs> yeah, I think we've been, wait, wait, we've been at it for out. like 10 minutes or something. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in, a, in order to better apprise the court with the facts of the case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Oh, this is it then. Hmm. I think I may have worked out what the professor has in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikutaba? Yes. Clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But does but that doesn't mean Well, I still I can still act as your assistant. Yeah, can you channel the spirits? You more way way fight these hell. You more way way fight these I mean, you can, you, I mean the breeze is blowing right through your sash, so you must be able to channel the spirits. Ah, oh, of they... course. Ugh. Oh. Well, when he was speaking with me before, he simply said, Kazuma Sogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. He really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe, but any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is, don't fuck up. Rain in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. That bucket's overflowing as it is. <laughs> only if you find the fan to the s only if you find the fan and turn off the switch. Yes, that is still a problem. The the, the button is on the other side of the room where the public gallery is. I cannot impede on that area. Ugh. Well, witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course. My name is Satoru Hosunaga. I'm a head waiter at the Western style restaurant called La Carnival. Oh, I have the tuberculosis too. <laughs> um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some uh Well, it's a regular occurrence. It doesn't. It really doesn't bother me. I know. Restaurant thing on a second. Uh, well, it really, really should. Well, as everyone knows, the capital's a southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants. An occidental eatery three days ago. You kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. What what, sir? And no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Oh um perspiring maybe, but aspiring? <laughs> It was just after 2 p.m. on the day of an in question. We have few diners at the end at the time of the day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. But that fits in with my memory of it too. There was hardly anyone else in that place. Uh, uh, well, it was when I was in the kitchen, putting away crockery and cutlery. A gunshot ran out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And, stand and standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! Yes, that was me! 
I was yes. there. But hold on. Let me clarify one something here. You, you, mustn't, you mustn't admit defeat. Uh, Why you say yes? Uh, look, while I did pick up the gun I found lying on the floor besides the professor, I, uh, I, I didn't shoot him. Well, I believe. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. All pains or ouchies are like have a high pitched voice when they object. But I believe I ask you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw. You amateur! Sweaty, filthy amateur! But. When you interrupt and at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized. Defendant, no, hold on. Don't worry, Rinosuke. You have your chance to fight back. You just gotta farm more gold. <laughs> but now, we must quietly listen to the witness and stare at that switch. What switch? The uh... one on the wall for the fan. Well, if Maybe I may... the spirits will flow over. Well, if I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. Excuse me, sir, have you had your COVID swab done before entering the premises? Not for the next Even 100 not. years, but yes, without question. Vanish <laughs> flu! <laughs> well, I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? This is so unsanitary for a response <laughs> waiter. Seeing the what's that? <laughs> It's just no. a modest horse. <laughs> there was no one else uh, around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Huh? Wait, what did you just say? There was no one else around that table? Oh, they're holding your hand for you. What's the matter, Rinosuke? You scared to speak up? Uh, th that's not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello... Oh, the violin's kicking in. There was a woman sitting opposite at the ta opposite him at his table. Really? And that's not something the waiter should have missed. I mean, could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still. What should I do? Yes! <laughs> what do you mean, yes? Oh, this is not right! Just a moment, please. Why are you agreeing? Uh, Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Oh, dear me, dear me. What are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure of what I saw. Perhaps your memory of event is hazy. Before I draw my sword in the courtroom. No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. Uh, but I, I don't believe it. I have records. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you like. At the latent puzzle. Let me see. Uh, a sketch of the establishment layout drawn by yourself, I presume. Well, that's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. Too long. It was a tur oh. it was a turbulent that's situation. It. On the left. I'm uh, pretty sure he wrote I it in I Japanese. Be, um, that's my guess. Like like a entrance. hiragana or something. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Reading Cantonese and taking a guess. However, as you can oh. see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. Well. You're clearly a conscious waiter. 
Please, refill my glass of water. Yes, thank you, sir. I will refill that glass of water for you in a second. No! <laughs> the court will take this plan and add it to the court record I like you. I like you, sir, ask that he... I like you pretending to be the judge to ask that water well the water is right on the left side of him. Of him. <laughs> that bottle empty, right there. Fool. It's empty, you fool. Oh, um, uh, I can't fix that, but well, uh, I can't give you that business card either. Is there a problem? Hand the water to the court officer at once. Um, I don't have any water, but here's the business card. He's sweating. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. Maybe water's his weakness. <coughs> well, something clearly seems to have shaken him. Yeah, it's tuberculosis. He ain't gonna make it. If we leave him long enough, he'll die and then we'll be fine. Actually, no, we won't be. So, the court has now heard a precis of the case. Yes, at the moment the gunshot was heard in the restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here. What? Oh! <laughs> defendant no hoyle. Uh, yes, Your Excellency? You're screwed. <laughs> if you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. You will not need to sepulchre. <laughs> Oh, in other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense, if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial, the prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. Uh, what do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another. So, wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for the more lenient sentence? No, you must fight for your love. Wait up. Every... everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these unpe peculiarities, peculiarities. Uh, you said it, you said it, Professor Mikataba said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this marriage. No, you can face it and unknown together. You're not... I trust you. I can't even hear a lick of what you just said. <laughs> oh. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you. That ring is the promise of, of my trust to you. Now put it on the correct finger. I'm gonna... You gotta excuse me for a second. I probably need to... Just gotta plug a few things. Could be the Discord. So then... Does that? Oh, oh no! Like, muting and being. It's probably still happening to mine as well. Oh, uh, well, I yeah. set mine to just pick up at a certain like decibel like setting. It's like around the border yeah, of I like quiet and just receiving background noise. Yeah. I, know. I could plug in my other mic. <laughs> no, it's just a. I just wanna. Yeah, I just wanna make sure that the battery is. Yeah, this is like uh, my laptop is. Still on the charger, but I don't, I don't know why the power is. Maybe it's a couple. Of... Maybe if I dim the, maybe if I dim the screen a bit. Wait, I got this. Look at the tags. <laughs> on our end, look, look, look at the description tags at the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> I just noticed well, that. Why, why is there no description? Why is this in her? What description? <laughs> on the um. Your Elgato settings. <laughs> I just noticed what's on the bottom right hand corner. What? I don't even know what game this is. <laughs> game. IDK. <laughs> Description. 
Best Gamu ever. Best Gamu. Anyway. Her uh, attorney. Gah! This, as I said from an outlet, outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you because the music's saying so. All right, let's continue onwards. And yet, despite knowing that, you still don't trust me. I bought that ring. You willing to throw that away? Back at my face? Is that it? Are we getting divorced here right now? What? Oh, you just got married! <laughs> if the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary, except by throwing away the ring. Are you going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? Are you going to give up on me? <gasps> He's sad. I'm losing track of this bad living. <laughs> <laughs> the battle hasn't even begun yet, Rinosuke. I haven't even drawn my sword. <laughs> Alright. You haven't even drawn your soul. The, the defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency! We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. I challenge you to a children's card game! <laughs> and we'll see just how decisive this evidence really is! I hope you have Exodia! Ah, that's a really small courtroom, I just realized. Indeed, what it is? is time for a children's card game. Well, this is a uh, 19th century Japan. Apparently, their courtrooms were pretty small at that time. That's so fancy. <laughs> it is Possibly very. A, it is a very nice courtroom. So fancy. <laughs> Process, <laughs> prosecutor Aochi, please continue with proceedings. Uh, how do you? How would you pronounce it, Rakui? Aochi. Aochi. I don't know. Yeah, I said ouchie. That's good. I said ouchie. Prosecutor <laughs> ouchie. Please like, continue with proceedings. Like, you can understand why we he was renamed to Winston Payne in the Ace Attorney games. Because it's very much the same thing. <laughs> well, you were, you were warned. The young can be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint. But I can be a devil when I want to be. Okay, Boomer. Ugh. Oh, in a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witnesses. Ooh, more witnesses. So, you might summon the next monster in attack mode. I think what? his fan says crime or something, like sin, to me. Oh, that's kind of cool then. <laughs> On his fan. I think... Oh, Hitler! Oh, right, let me see your fan. I think it's to me. Oh, God. Witnesses, state your names and occupation for the court. Sin slash crime. Oh, I'm going to give this yeah. voice to you, Heap. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no, sir. Reporting for duty, sir. My myself, I find employ as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity for the effluences of our nation, Nippon. And conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district, Kuryo Korikuta, at your service. Dealer and a soldier? What an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. <laughs> Myself, I habitually take tea at the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question. Always post noon. And not infrequently converse with interested parties. Parties, uh, regarding the curios in which I make my business. I'm having a hard time making old man voices. And I can't understand a word that old man is saying. <laughs> he's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at Le Carnival. Such French. 
he seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. Oh yeah, curiously enough, Le Carnival, um, I think in the Scarlet Study version, the, the fan translation, it was actually called La Quantos. But I don't know, I don't know why they changed it. I wouldn't either. Maybe they just want to make it fancy. Sure, he, he obviously targets Le Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Alright, I see. Um, although, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. <laughs> now, you both witnessed the precise moments of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? I didn't hear. Did you actually say something? <laughs> wow. Can you actually uh, hear? Cut out. Did you cut out? Cut out. Did yeah. you actually hear hear that, Requi? I, I I did hear it, but like not not clearly, not clearly. He said it like twice. <laughs> I am. God. Let me you and I had been attacking the fallen knight in what can only be described as a best of what, sir. Man, your the voice that you're making for this guy doesn't really match what this guy actually <laughs> makes me makes me feel Ooh, like. I like that. <laughs> man, man, I am Hitler. You! Shut up. <laughs> it uh. was that black uniform rogue infantryman over there! There was unloaded his firearm, sir! This man's as impossible to understand as the other! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mic keeps cutting off. I can't you. That's awful! But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during the last thing he said. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's the mic quality. That's the my quality, Rune. I'm scared. Glad you picked that up. Did you actually hear the last bit that just uh, came out? For what? I don't know. It was a game. It was part of the game audio. Oh, it's on fart. Oh, you guys. I heard you guys. The thing. Well, I, I think you guys missed it, but uh, I'll continue. I'm not so, gonna. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you two. This is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldiers claimed that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Saying yes. I'm agreeing. Hi! Well. <laughs> well, are you starting to feel the German filling in? Does it feel uncomfortable? Uh, if I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable about Germans from the start. In 19th century Germany. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. I think I'm. I think we're ruining. I think we're ruining all cultures here. <laughs> okay, I offend. If I offend everyone equally, it means I'm not racist. Shit. <laughs> oh my you god. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. I feel bad about this. Oh. oh You're my... gonna get flagged. <laughs> yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Then I guess it's a good reason. I guess it's a good thing that this was set to like mature audiences. I did so on this the channel. Audiences, I'm like probably the and most you, immature. And you stop looking at the tea. Um, unsavory <laughs> memories of a most acerbic afternoon. I can't even pronounce that. I, that I have no idea either, mate. Witness testimony. What the witness saw. <laughs> I was investigating a regulation. <laughs> I was investigating a regulation B stick at the restaurant <laughs> while having a tactical decision with the old man. <laughs> My investigating myself, I was extolling the virtues of a fine, particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. Moment. Did I hit that at the back? You heard it? Hell yeah. yeah. Was someone screaming? Wasn't someone screaming? Well, someone keep yell. well, keep reading. I couldn't hear it properly. Precious moment. I am with this charge. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the Englishman. And from the back, the cowardly whistle. I was on my hands and knees. Investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously abs 
absconded precious courier. Well, so you, Sergeant Hitler, I could I actually yeah. witness the final moment. Stop! Stop! Hitler! Sergeant Nostar! You saw the split, the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. That cruel, unforgettable enemy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why'd you go to die? Hell yeah. <laughs> we did. Oh, what, what times we live in. When yeah. an Englishman, English gentleman, may be assailed in the broad light of Thing. As I'm holding a little like dagger in my hand, and some guy has a freaking katana. What's a. Is that a Wakizashi now? Oh, he's got a sword. Like the, the thing that. Uh, the thing that <laughs> puzzles me is why but are the, there weapons in the this, courtroom? <laughs> but this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is did. that really true, you know, Scare? Yes, all I did I was pick it up, the gun, and then I, that I just found on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Watson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then when I finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English man made a gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. English made? English made guns. Uh, I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down. <laughs> And just when, just as I was picking it up... No. Enemy killed. Well, if that's the <laughs> truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. Maybe it was Black Widow. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue to who that criminal was. There is? Rinosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. Before I draw this sword, I've already slightly unsheathed it. Cross-examine? Do it! Do it now! Do it now! <laughs> well, as we've heard, Your Excellency, there's no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice! JUSTICE! Certainly, the testimony in the court has just eliminated any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to yes. declare the verdict. <laughs> Stop saying yes! <laughs> he has a question. What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am, um, I mean, defense demands the right to a cross examination. Ale, ale, ale. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki, a headband boy next door, told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? Objection! The defense is assuming it's right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it, is irrelevant! <laughs> Cosmo is so commanding. Very well. You may play Great Shield Gardener in defense mode. Now, let the defense conduct a cross-examination with his 2,600 defense points. Alright, this is where the battle really begins for you, Nosuke. Big Shield Gardener only has 200 attack points, so don't switch it from defense mode. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Is it obvious? Cards. You have to expose the lies in the witness's statements. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means 
what that soldier said has to be a lie. Uh, well, yes, but... It's just a case of proving it, and the key to doing that is evidence. And also magic cards. Right. <laughs> evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. And use the R1 button. Whoa! Now, let's go, Ryunosuke. Don't let them beat you. <laughs> I like how this slam is so, like, soft. Uh, alright then. It's all nothing. All in. Here we go. This is what... It's all Ooh, about that Ace Attorney. In just oh. this. I was in in just the regular shit, big dick. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I over read this. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, our, our lovely um German soldier may uh <laughs> rest. Well, we don't. You don't exactly have to read everything in this cross examination. Oh, oh that'll end. <laughs> I miss so. At a precious moment, a firearm was discharged. I always observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Well, from the back. Back. I was thinking, yeah, from the back. I've probably shot him in, in his like right boot. Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys already got the hang of what it means to play Ace Attorney games. Because it's, it's okay. All about, I it's played all about a bit of. I yeah. played a bit from the the, the first, first one. Game. Yeah, this is a weird this is a weird only, save menu here. I'm okay with this. I only lost like a chunk of the sword because my girlfriend started it off and asked for help. <laughs> well, let's try this. What's this? First, let's read this. So, uh, John H. Bullet, Watson, time of death. The boob. <laughs> Two p.m. Single bullet fired at close range. Fatal hemorrhage. 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 Or hemorrhage. Photograph. Oh, hemorrhage. Well, I'm just gonna yes. do this. Unless it went through the back into the boobs. <laughs> uh. My stone cold face. What? What are you playing at, cadet? What is the meaning of this insubordination? <laughs> Blasting some photographic pin in my mustache! My glorious mustache! Inconsistency, sir! I mean, yes! I mean, hi! There's a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense! What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Um, well, obviously, that, um... I want the steak, sir. I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Alright, Eminem. <laughs> Pain! I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Time to get owned by a kid. <clears throat> uh, this is so frustrating. Please. Bitch, please. Sure, this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. Spell it out would be an insult to the court, using my mind blast abilities. There's his view music. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at a photographic print presented by the defense. That there's a clear discrepancy right here with the sergeant's statement. What? Like three times. <laughs> sergeant Yesa Nosa. Yesa Nosa. <laughs> Yesa, what the? The statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back. That cowardly little weasel. From the back. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. 
I witnessed the crime with my own military great eyes, sir. Yes, military great eyes. Why are you a great? But no, that just can't be. <laughs> and why you a cadet? You mean why not? <laughs> oh, uh, why not? <laughs> because, because, because. Take a close look at the print. He's clearly shot in the boom. <laughs> The victim, Dr. Watson, is a sea cop, and he died from a bullet wound <laughs> to that. Dr. Wilson. <laughs> Dr. Watson. <laughs> ah! My military great eyes. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind, and that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well. How do you explain it? Uh, whoa, what the? What the? What's that, baby? No, I'm, 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 hey, hey, get, get, oh, no, get, oh, no. get, get back! That, excuse me. No, I was wondering what that thing tied the... behind him was. What was that? I mean, tied on him. Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. And did I just see total recall? On your back? <laughs> Would you not agree, Sergeant Nossa? <laughs> eh. Oh, yeah, this, sir, uh, at this juncture, that would appear this indisputable. Hmm. Until the moment I heard the fire discharge. The my, Avatar baby. My eyes were. Ah. Only a fix to the delicious look on about stick, sir. What? <laughs> Not it. The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Iesa Nosa. Honey, yes sir, no sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, my ears. Oh, that's what it is. Yep, yep. Good catch. Know. Did not see the defense firing a, a gun at all. Uh, that's that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. Oh my, my, my hand! There's no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom! Gag! Gag! it! There's my trophy for tonight. Inconsistencies here. There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial. Just from that one discrepancy. I like the little orange exclamation mark there. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. I gotta, I gotta show off my air of coolness. That, that I got him. You stop waving that green visor down. <laughs> that know. university cadet there. Quiet, baby. He was pointing the fire directly at the victim's back. Yes. <laughs> but See, I never. He agreed. Yes. <laughs> but I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. You, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Are you you turning him German too? <laughs> I myself, I've already been quite clear. He's not even paying attention to this right now. The gunshot uh, interests. The, the gunshot interests me not. I was far too busy on the floor. I'm in the <laughs> Too busy on the floor. Down. Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. What? It's, 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 it's a couple of herbert. <laughs> I didn't think that far. Treasure? Indeed! Oh, wait. The Hoei Era Koban! My prize coin! Did you just smash oh. an antique? Look at his teeth, man. <laughs> oh, on each occasion when I visited that restaurant it is my habit to place my in my bosom pocket a particularly <laughs> trinket of interest from my shop Razute in hopes of meeting a richer diner a rich diner who might like to buy it from you well, on that day under scrutiny it was to the military man that I profit my whole treasure believe that he would purchase such a rare find I did not but I was presented with little alternative. And then, 
After burning my eyes for the previous affirmance, it was there no more. It was simply vanished. Oh, the Koban vanished? Hunting. Was it? Were you saying something in the middle of the... I think it was, kind of. <laughs> it's like bobbing up and down. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, hunting, ar Diamond. hunting around under the table, I was in case mayhap it had fallen there. And then it happened. Hmm. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did. I, but I did it. I heeded it not. For I was concerned only with finding my absconded hooey treasure. Nothing could distract me. Out of interest, <clears throat> did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, <laughs> I see. But that lamentable day, the precious hooey, hooey Kuban was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> As I am sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to the to Great Britain. Oh, shh. <laughs> the bunch of them are melting together. <laughs> Our great government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this afternoon. Oh, alright, well, that's one great too many, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be... Oh, no matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. Did that come through? Okay. <laughs> It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Pros Prosecutor Ochi? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled the tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. Huh? Okay. My witnesses have further testimony to make. Why? Why you have animals in the back? <laughs> well, upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there's only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. That baby. The equally despicable defendant, Ryanosuke Narahodo. What? Nani? He really needs a opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. <laughs> and I need more water. Where's the waiter? Is that clear? Well, as clear as a uh, Kiriko glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Simon, get down from there. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. Uh, do you need more water? And there's something or someone peeking out from over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative! The newest member of the Nocto family. So rise up for the length, sir. Name, Ido. Ido? I don't know. Ido? Is it Ido? Yeah, yeah. Hmm, it would seem those straps are a sign of the s sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. <laughs> Ido. Tension! Oh, Your father is about to quail the enemy! Oh, Whoa, did, is this not? <laughs> That's yes. not? That is Your not. Father. That is what you learn, my boy? Well, wow, everything's defying gravity today. Snot and headband. <laughs> and that guy's head. <laughs> True culprit. And his earlobes. Even, even what I saw wasn't the precise moment. The fight I was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Did I not come through? Oh. <laughs> yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in black. 
that much, I myself did see. Venomon, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that there were only personal present. Oh, we were the only personal present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no other than the Black Unicorn Cadet, who had dispatched the Englishman, over and out! Simon, be quiet! Hmm. Yes. In this. Yes! Wait, that's, that's nonsense! The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, be enough of these outbursts already! But there was a woman! There was a young woman at this at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your baby fantasies. Oh. But it's evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Well, I can barely hear you, but you probably did say that. <laughs> well, like uh, should we? Should I bring it? Bring it back for you to read that again? Or did the second time not come for either? Uh, nope. <laughs> Is this a photographic print of the crime? Oh, of the scene of the crime council? Well, yes, indeed. Of the table at which the victim was dining, the, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there's only one place set. Oh, it was a ghost. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print. Boom. It would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. <laughs> I am known as Juggernaut. You sound like him. <laughs> yes at all. I don't understand. What's going on okay. here? <laughs> <Don't pay Dota. laughs> it's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. Hmm, my spirit senses tell me the waiter before said the same thing. The breeze is getting stronger. He maintains that Dr. Watson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. Hmm. It will seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies will just have to be heard, leave no room for doubt. Well, these are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still very fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Tasku... Jesus Christ. I can't read really, uh, Takesuchi? Takesushi? Takesushi? Sushi? Takesushi? Sushi? <laughs> Takesushi Aoji uh, would have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. I want sushi. I want sushi so badly. <laughs> oh, great. But how, can, how can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. I believe that's you. Is that you. a new character? No, that'd be you. That'd be you. <laughs> Heap. Dan Tor, Rinosuke, it's not over yet. We still have an Exodia. What? Really? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. We, we have two pieces of the puzzle. We still need th three more. And now is your chest to expose it. To draw out the truth like I drew out my sword, I'm gonna slash him in half. In your cross examination, you gotta slash him in half in a cross examination. Yeah, cross. <laughs> I will summon your Jimbo. I don't know, Kazuma. That's borderline murder. I wonder, how many times has this guy uh, smashed that melon? 
Yes, I have smashed his hammer many times, but there is still no order in the court. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick. Understood? Huh. Rules can be so unbending at times. Uh. <clears throat> True culprit. True culprit. So let's see. Yeah, I think none of these actually have any holes to exploit with the evidence. Are there two pictures? Can we even look at the photo? Yeah, the, yeah, the photo, like the new photo and the the boob one. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh... they even the same table? They are the same table. This one is with dead Dr. Watson. There's no table behind him. Wait, hang on. The chair There's is the facing table. the other way. He's sitting on the chair facing away from the stake. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be like, a thing. He could have just turned around yeah. to talk to the guy. Indeed, alone he was the Englishman dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have... Well, yes. let's just press him. Why, why aren't you telling over. the truth? What? What did you say, you scoundrel? <laughs> I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed, but for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's not possible. Wait, I gotta reach my, my, my back. Unfortunately for you, Defender No Hodo is not just a case. That these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, who said to me the court heard earlier, really stated the same thing. And he still hasn't come back with my water. He also said that the victim was alone. Uh, that's right. Yes, you have Pre agreed with me. Well, precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. No, it was but no. I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. Ugh. If no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It's a blatant waste of the court's time. Uh, there's nothing I can say to that. We get to go find clues and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Rinosuke? Uh, um, oh. Do you need a, another bucket? <laughs> What's the matter? I can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy in anywhere. I'm done for. I can't win this trial. No, 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 no. Oh. Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You're giving into despair. You can't expect witnesses' statements to be full of holes every time. So just take your time and try to tease more information out of them first. What do you mean by that? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness's statements. If a witness is saying something you're suspicious about, press him on it with the L1 button where your left index finger. With a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right, I see. There's all tutorial stuff. Snare. The important point is there's no sense in holding back. Until your controller runs out of battery, that is. If anything, even slight jars with you, press the witnesses on it and press them hard. Alright, got it. I'm gonna press them like blocks of tofu. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, but okay. But Professor wasn't alone in the restaurant, I'm sure of it. And uh, one way or another, this cross examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. Alright, so let's see. It was in the precise moment that Fireman was discharged, almost the same thing. 
pointing the gun at the poor man, he was the young lad in black. That much I myself did see. He was looking for his coin, though. Yeah. He, he said he wasn't looking. He said he wasn't looking at yes. all. Let's question this guy. You must have noticed something else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there! As you have been at a pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Oh, If only there'd be more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Well, more people left he was there. Unfortunately, it was already past 2pm when it happened. Hazuma. After lunchtime. Oh. A quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. Oh, I know. Of, of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you expected. Certainly. 2pm is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder if there's a reason why the, the victim was eating at the time of the day. And why he was alone. So, well, yes, Your Excellency, there was a reason. Uh, you were gonna say something? Uh, yes, at all! Uh, there was? Well, this was found in the victim's jacket pocket. Oh, yeah, more evidence. What is it, Council? Well, it's a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had a p an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Potter Clinic. Yes, I see there indeed would appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1pm. The same time I had my ramen. Oh, ramen. You say that. <laughs> Waiter, open the Uber Eats up. <laughs> I like that right now. <laughs> the very day of the incident. Well, so the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. What do you think, Runosuke? Hmm? Oh, uh, well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Use the R1 button. <laughs> Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report to be submitted as evidence or not? Well, ask it. Yes! Well get more free stuff. <laughs> yes! The one time it was used correctly. <laughs> um, if I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report to be... Submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. Man, one day his his shoulders gonna pop out of his socket. Oh, on what grounds? Um, the court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extrane extraneous. Well, not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection. Oh, the table. Whether or not they are, because it's up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. <laughs> You're not wrong, buddy! <laughs> Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Alright. What we need right now is new clues. Maybe we should buy a bottle from the shop and walk down the river to get more runes. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Alright, I hear you, but I don't even understand those references you just said earlier. <laughs> huh, you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like. It's the 
But it's the day after the festival already for you. <clears throat> or perhaps you've forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate to, for the accused, Karakuta-san. Alright, so now we got new evidence. This is, uh... Now we can get to the next part of the tutorial. That long-ass tutorial. <laughs> we have replayed some new information for now. Ding! Well, yes, but I don't feel it like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any new decrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you've got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine a little more detail. In a little more detail. Uh, how exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press the X button and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. I... What? You, what? <laughs> Use up, up, left, down, and right. Um, It's a cheat code. You could just say the right stick. Maybe. <laughs> up, up, left, left. Oh, I forgot the Konami code. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. <laughs> Every angle you desire. Yeah, this Use is the L up, left, down, and right. <laughs> AB. <laughs> to shoot the weapons. <laughs> Why do we have a rectangle there? You can move the crosshair around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. And potentially shoot off. Well, I can totally understand Japanese. Well, <laughs> yep. And the turn is gone. If the crosshair starts to pulsate, it means it's a headshot. Lock on. <laughs> Press X to investigate the headshot further. Well, I like that he is breaking down because of all this tutorial dialogue he has to recite for his character. <laughs> My mic can't handle the weight, <laughs> so partner. So honey, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report. <laughs> See if there isn't something new to be learnt about examining it in more detail. Alright, well, I'll see what you can do. You probably need a glass of water after that anyways. So I'm just gonna use right up, left, right, I don't know. Konami code! <laughs> Konami code. <laughs> Oh, I'm just you gonna. I'm just gonna do it. We are. This this story is long. So yeah, you can actually. They actually translate it for you. So, medical yeah, report card. Probably. I did it. Well, Doctor Mister John Wilson, who probably is John Watson on the on the card. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if Capcom actually. I don't know if Capcom USA bothered trying to ask Capcom Japan to like change the characters on this. Just so. Yeah, uh, no. It's not with Japan. <laughs> it was. Can we open it? We can't Let's open it. open it from here. Oh. Open it. Wow. Wow. A plus on all your scores. Look at oh, the look at the A plus in English. Oh, it's like it's falling off the table, you know? <laughs> Let's have a look. There is some kind of medical history. Oh, he's diabetic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and. And the entry for the day the professor was killed. This is a dentist clinic, though. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. 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 Is it anesthesia or anesthesia? I I don't know. <laughs> Did you just say anesthesia? Yes, extraction of, mo of molar with a topical anesthesia. 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 Man, you like work in a hospital, don't you? Yeah, but I don't see patients. All, all I do is um, run tests for them. As long as they don't um, go, that's fine. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? How to eat a snake? It seems so. Oh, good point. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. 
It was a naughty tooth. Perhaps they use laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. <laughs> Although it's uh, hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Oh, uh, there's a cautionary note from the medical, practi medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post procedure until anesthetic effect has passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Really? Yeah. Hold on. Press the, yes, press, really. the press the also play button and it will solve the case for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like s information worth bearing in mind. Yes. Oh, that was, oh shit, that was your line. Didn't you say that already? No, that was your line. Was it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the no, event with, this new, with this new information, uh, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So yeah. I think it's time we listen to the testimony again. Don't you? And for once, the fan is off. <laughs> oh, definitely. Excuse me a second. I'm gonna need a... Check the power cord. Objection! 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 I'm oh, baby. <laughs> Simon! Simon, are you asleep, my boy? Was it an idol or something? I, I, no. I yes, but, but in a Western country, they cannot pronounce his name. So I have to call him Simon. <laughs> in, in Germany, I call him Hans. <laughs> uh... My Führer! Oh, shit. <laughs> my Führer, the, the power is cut out. Sorry, I'm gonna need to check some things. What are we gonna do about the infidels? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks. Yeah, for some reason, um. There's some. Boing. Yeah, the battery power is not charging to my laptop. Maybe it's already full charged. No, I it's like 36%, so. but it's not charging. Um. I'm gonna have to pause. I'm gonna have, uh, have to put it, all of this on break, so let's. Uh, break we'll take time. a quick break and then. Um, we'll be back. And we'll be back in like a couple of minutes. Action!
Hello, we're camera. back. <laughs> we are back. Hello. Uh, Hello. I tried checking Hello. out. I don't know why my laptop is losing power as it's already connected to the charger. I think it's. I, think, it I believe. <laughs> yeah, I think we. I got a lot of applications open for. Well, it's probably or the Discord, Discord game capture and OBS are all open, so they're probably taking out the power. Anyways, let's. Uh, we got the evidence. So what was it again? Okay, go back to the last statement. The medical card. No. It was this one. So I'm just gonna save just in case. Because I wouldn't want my hopes and dreams crushed of going overseas. Without your love. <laughs> Indeed, alone he was the Englishman dining all by himself. Um. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what did yes. he say? He's gonna get in trouble. Um. Um. Well, I think. Um. About what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a liar. I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Very nice Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Mm hmm mm, that cup. <laughs> it's Darth Vader time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks, uh, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in the cross-examination you just carried out. I gotta try this. When you raise your hand straight up like that. So purposefully. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried that before! You knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Oh. <clears throat> Don't feel that like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking, even if it sounds horrible. Is that what you do all the time? Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. And thanks for the advice. <laughs> Not great advice. <laughs> Insert bad words. <laughs> Kurakura-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, and Why see. Why you sound so professional now? <laughs> and I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Um, something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... Oh, let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. But that's, um... Fancy words. Just flash that card, buddy. Well, half of uh, half of your sentence was d disappeared into the void, oh, but the re the rest has made it through. Remember, Rinosuke, use the card. Just make your point. Well, Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There's no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. For the witness testimonies, uh, the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale face. I did not finish that. <laughs> but oh well. What? This medical no report card has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half I petrified that. me, boy! Unleash that well, I'm a Yugi. Of course I believe it! How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hotta Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> What's a dental clinic? 
Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just a tooth extracted. What's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours. Post procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No! Th this can't! Karakuda san! Uh, what boy? What? As you have just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No! <laughs> Additionally... Yeah, your mic is gone. <laughs> you're, yeah, you are... You're shattering into the void. <laughs> I you tried. I tried so hard. Thank God so far. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. He was also dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that can possibly be the case. Okay. Uh, because the victim, as we know now, had just one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. Ah! <laughs> my mustache! I like how he draws his sword, ready just in case everyone jumped out of the sand. Oh, is a uh... expertly done, partner. <laughs> Why are there zombies in our courtroom? <laughs> What is this nonsense? You, you got a little upstart? <coughs> These are baseless accusations! Just look at the photographic evidence! You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table! Objection! Use your head, you old fool. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> How dare you! Sit down, g -son. I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant... Hey, oh, restaurant can have... Hearn! <laughs> Wounds agree, Ryunosuke? Hmm? Oh, yes! Uh, most definitely. <laughs> so, just undergone some dental surgery? The victim was unable to eat. Oh, which leads no, this which leads one very crucial conundrum. Can I have who, that steak? <laughs> who ate the steak? Who, in fact, was eating the pitch of beef steak? Who was eating the rum? I want to know answers now. The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Hmm, counsel. Oh, uh, that that means me, doesn't it? Yes, you fool. Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning the struggle around, showing no one to back up. I don't know if you were trying to make a Overwatch reference, but your audio mm -hmm. just chopped up. No, I was trying to say. I think so. I think so. <laughs> wow, you're really cutting off there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. Got it, so, um. The internet censoring me. The internet the knows internet. that knows of your, uh, of your vulgar jokes. The person no. eating the steak at the victim's table must have been me. Witnesses. As a an as yet unknown third party. Oh, Obviously, it could have been only been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. Once he's got a good slam. You will not let this go, will you? 
There was no such person. Yes. Yes, yes there, was. There, was. there was. Because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the Vita couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Who ate it? Therefore, ate it? your only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else eating it. Someone ate the rump. <laughs> uh... We have strong evidence to support that assertion. It's clear that these witnesses' testimonies are unreliable. As I fold my arms, if the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage... <laughs> we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial, relentlessly. Kazuma! Don't draw the sword! Are you insane?! You... you would take on the government?! Together, they can do everything. <laughs> Don't worry, Council. I have no issue with you. My issue is with the government. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they have deported my family. I have an issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> we have demonstrated that the victim was not alone. So if it now turns out that the two of you have deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Yeah, that that's right. Purged. Perjury. <laughs> and since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in murder? No! Man, I watch it all, man! You, you watch Simon! I, oh, I woke the baby up. It's weird, it's weird. Your bo your audio is just bodied up, but as you were making a fake German accent, it just improved the high pitched sound of your <laughs> of your character. <laughs> Therefore, there was no intention with this tactical meeting. I my pinwheel. I was just following orders. Following orders. That's eh? right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's oh, why they, they um go. told us. You you fucked up. No. <laughs> Idiot. Nani? What did you just say, Karakuda-san? <laughs> you were just following orders. You and now hold on, know. lad. I, I was um. So you never saw the gentlewoman? <laughs> when you say gentlewoman, do you mean... Who calls him a gentlewoman in 19th century? <laughs> I, know, right? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's like a gentleman. <laughs> you saw the victim with a uh, lady, lady from overseas. A uh, lady. Oh, lady. With, 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 the, with the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> What? Nani? <laughs> well, what is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. You idiots. You fools. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Order! Order! Council, explain what is going on here! It is painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth! Absolutely not! The prosecution knows nothing of this! Uh, then who's Life behind flat. this? 
Who's trying to make you keep your mouth shut? <laughs> My mustache! <laughs> Baby, it's crying. So, you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? Yo! 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 It's... Can you... Can you actually hear that, <laughs> Rakui? <laughs> Judging from the way they're reacting to this and by the baby's reaction, I'd say they were sworn to sign by someone with considerable influence. <laughs> However, I don't believe Alchi had any idea of it. Yep. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there's only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Hmm. Well? Any ideas who might be behind this? If we can confirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever's... It was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we will need evidence before we can make any firm accusations. It was the judge! Evidence that proves who really did this. Did wield his power or her power here. But how? Uh, how can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? We saved, and then we tried our luck. <laughs> Before. <laughs> we examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. But if we fail, we will just load it our save. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. <laughs> Ding! There's no time to lose. Order! I want to answer that now! If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you, the penalty will be severe. Please, uh, wait! Uh, Your Excellency! I have no idea about any of this! I swear to every Shinto god! I do nothing! And what does the defense have to say about all of this? Huh? Um, well, oh, uh, Your Excellency? Uh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the, my, the first name that comes into my head. Oh, professor's name, say it. The professor's name. That dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Besides the prosecution, <laughs> the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Dun, Me! Dun, dun, Me! Dun, dun. Yes! The, the, the. Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san, the waiter who took the stand earlier. Uh, <laughs> because of um. Tuberculosis. Say what? Have <laughs> <laughs> you been to Costco lately? Poppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even our head waiter could not have possibly have that level of influence. He didn't want a bad re Yelp review. <laughs> For once, I would agree with you. He didn't want a bad Yelp review. But channeling the spirits, if if that is, the man truly were a waiter. And... The, spir the spirits tell me. Behold. Jim Fun. Dun, dun. Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Wait, Bureau. that's not that's not you, Gumshoe. <laughs> well, that's unexpected. Uh, what is? Look, do you see? It says the witness's name here, Satoru Hosonaga. Oh well, yes. Business cards do tend to show the person's name, and that's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected, it's his job title. His job? Oh! 
Chief, Chief Inspector. Oh, sorry. Chief yeah, Inspector line. Satoru Hosunaga, <laughs> Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Bu Police Bureau. Inspector, what on earth? Is that the? I have I... no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. They tell me to pull over, I pull over. <laughs> if they're wielding it somehow here. <clears throat> yep. Wait, so the waiter is actually a... Not a, a, chief, a chief inspector. <laughs> that, um, the waiter is an inspector, actually. Let's see. Yeah, you got your reticle with a headshot oh, right Oh, yeah, there. you're right. He is a chief inspector. That's weird. So he worked... Oh. If that is... The man truly were a waiter. What? If he truly were... Oh, my arm. Come on, Ryunosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. Um, the truth about Hosunaga's uh, real identity is proven by this evidence. Yes. The fake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pun of the rest was skipped by the man in question. Hmm. I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. I'm confused now. Is are you giving him the German accent the or other some other accent? No, I, it's not meant to be German. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's 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 Juggernaut from Dota. <laughs> Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the car. It's the back of the back of the car that's of interest. Pardon? Or or perhaps I should have said the front? Oh, you are confusing yes. me! It's the front of the back of the card! That's where the tailing detail is! The front of the back of the card. Boy, you are confused me! I will only slash you right now! <laughs> will somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosanaga san sketched the plan of the Russia on the reverse side of his business card. Well, that sounds a lot better. Thanks, Kazuma. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. He's a professional con man. The waiter's cook. The waiter's profession. But that surely. <coughs> oh, good, good gracious! By the gods! <laughs> That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads: Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? I have haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regulatory regular civil civilians citizens are concerned. So witnesses there in the stand. Oh. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you the orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you've seen this foreign gentle woo man at the scene? Woo man. <laughs> woo man. Woo man. Oh no. Oh no, he's frozen on my screen. My mustache is frozen. Um, um, well. I feel like something's meant to appear on the screen. <laughs> it is I! Oh, in oh. Inspector Hosunaga? <laughs> well, I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> The court will now take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, oh, uh, well, huh? Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Uh, Here you are. Yes, I remember now. Yes, it was an hour ago before the trial. Uh, he did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over to his business card. Well, I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. 
It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say you really are detective? But why would a detective be working at a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course, your salary must be terrible. I was working <laughs> undercover. <laughs> Are cutting up the specter, are they? Yeah, it's like I like I like how he just interjected. This is like the, and we can all get we can all guess what a detective salary is like in uh, 2018 for Gumshoe. Oh boy, Gumshoe! <laughs> Undercover. Yes, there have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. Did everyone? Incidents at the oh, sorry. Incidents at the restaurant. What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am at not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically, categorically. Categorically, that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Uh, Inspector Hotanaga, but will you elaborate one point for the court? Well, you're the you're yeah, a few words gone lost, but did that got, mean my did that, did that mean my snoring at the start got cut off? Because I'm so sad. You were snoring? Because you know, he had his eyes closed. He went. Mm. Oh, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> of course, Your Excellency. Uh, we had just heard new information from the two witnesses. This, oh shit, the German's coming through. <laughs> we have heard just new information from the two witnesses beside you. Oh gosh, you know. <laughs> Actually, when you said like he was snoring, he's not really that old. That's just judged, does he? No, I didn't lie. It looks like he was sleeping when he had his eyes closed. Because you two are taking too long to talk. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like the two people at the stand. I was trying to wait for you to like say something, but you're. Oh no no no! I was playing at the two people at the stand. Anyway, that time at the time, that at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Mm -hmm. If that is indeed true. You're all liars. Clearly, you have also been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However. Your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? Oh, bloody hell. Correct, Your Excellency. Did you say bloody oh, hell? Ah, oh, bloody hell, mate. <laughs> Oh, that's not. You got you got some trickle down your cheek. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. As I suspected, there is a bogan in this pocket. <laughs> well, as soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim slept. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. Yes, woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately, I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then I received some. Special orders. Special orders? You mean to say like a special menu at Le at Le Carnival? No, remove the English woman from the scene at once. Well, it was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than 
anything at this moment. An English woman has been murdered. Oh, Englishman! Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an English woman as a primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. Disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. By the uh, chin. Lad. By the hairs on my chin. But it's not right. All the ellipses in this room. <laughs> Hmm, I see. Sort of, there. One possibly does spring to mind. Oh, what do you mean, Kazuma? Yumei Universe is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the medical faculty's research laboratory, hmm, channeling the spirit realm, is a young English woman. What? Nani? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you are going to be the best husband of this defendant. You mean... Well, I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime... I thought it prudent to check her identity first. We can leave the lady in question at once, Inspector. <laughs> Why you lie? Is your Frodo I have on my chin? Is your Frodo okay, Heap? No. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the English woman sitting at the the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yumei University's medical facility. Faculty. What is happening here? Baby, look at baby. Wow, he's tall. I understand that under orders from the police bureau, my... Sorry. What now? <laughs> I erase all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. I don't know What's... what just happened there. But in what? order to... Guys. Order these uh, witnesses to make no mentions of her in the testimonies, as I pour myself some glass of water. Who did it? It must that now be actually. well. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Okay. <laughs> Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particular critical premise. You, namely that the victim was dining alone. Oh. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a discretion of our justice system to ignore the truth. And give a ruling at this point. Did you say discretion? I thought I'd say desecration. Oh, desecration. I should have read discretion as well. <laughs> Objection! You used the wrong word! But, uh, your Excellency! That would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send a telegraphic report to Great Britain! Our own government would surely be displeased, be very displeased by such action. Yes, so, Council. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. I'm the boss here. Ah, uh, Inspector Hasanaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. Use uh, this town portal scroll at once, Your Excellency. But that, that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau! Well, as I said before... It is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So, it won't be a problem? 
Oh, you know, it'll definitely oh, be a problem. Vac! Don't pick your left lip on my shirt! Nothing will get in my way. <laughs> Except the TV. <laughs> Water! Clean that blood from your mouth! Put what we're doing briefly. The prosecution must call the English student. Do not let to the witness stand. And all you two, and all of you, get tested for TV. Do I make myself so clear? Yes. <laughs> Your Excellency! Good. Now get us on my sight. There will be a 30 minute recess before a reconvening. Recess. Now piss off, all of you! <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> to be continued? Damn, I didn't Wait, know. did you buy the DLC? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Save. I didn't think this, uh, this, uh, was gonna take so long, I'll play through here. Oh, of course it'll take so long! <laughs> bang, 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 bang! I wonder if we'll be able to get through this part before the session's over. You mean before your laptop battery decides to go? Rip. An enemy has been slain. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Jeez. What was a ten fifty? Yeah, I'm gonna let's. Leo, well, we're gonna try and push it through. Let's Up to this. you. I'm pretty sure I have no work tomorrow. I'm on graveyard, so you know. Oh. <laughs> Excellent work, Ryunosuke. I could finally get the switch on the other side of the room, but I could not find a switch for this room. But it was superb, nonetheless. <clears throat> uh, my heart was in my mouth the entire time. Why are you eating your heart? It was almost unbelievable. To him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at you in there. I saw, I saw the love flying through the, the courtroom. All right, I'm yeah, I'm having a fault now. So yeah, I was uh, I didn't expect that our tutorial talking session had to go that long. And <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh at the yeah so. And right now, I don't know if I want to continue the stream any longer than it needs, than I, than we have to. Um, that is up to you. Can you continue? Like, because I, be I have a jab. I mean, I do have, uh, I'm expected to have the second shot of my Pfizer injection tomorrow. Okay, at around like 9.45. Oh, okay, that's pretty early. Yeah, so I'm. I think we can do this another time. <laughs> yeah, I think. I yeah, I think we could try. We could continue this another time. So I was wondering, if, how's your, how do you feel about doing this on the next weekend? We can discuss this. I am. I am the lockdown, so it's not like I can go anywhere. Exactly. But, <laughs> all right. Well. Doesn't doesn't stop other people from coming to me though. You're right. So it's just, uh, so we're good for only weekends then? Uh, at this point, I guess so. Alright, that's it. Alright, so I guess uh, we'll have to, we'll have to take this over to next week then. Okay. Anyways, no it's, uh, it's, it was, it was a fun, a fun session, night. even though, it was a fun session, even though we took too long with the tutorials and uh, heaps, uh, heaps audio keeps getting, uh, bodied. Yeah, I gotta fix mine too. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, so I'm sure. You, wait, I think you uh, you said that you were gonna get a new mic soon, something. Hopefully, hopefully, unless the um the lovely gentleman MS Twice is otherwise. All right. So thanks. Uh, so I'm gonna say thanks to everyone who has came through to watching the stream. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure that I'm gonna solve whatever is happening with my laptop charger. I think it's probably it's, it's probably all these applications that's just open up to run the stream. But yeah, see, <laughs> yeah, it seems. Uh, but I'm sure that all videos, even the ones uh, on my Twitch channel, are are in the library, so I could just transfer the upload to YouTube. However, I need to. 
but and also I also got recording as backup as well but anyways let's take us over to next weekend so thanks for watching and see us Oh, I stopped the recording. <laughs>